What's going on everybody? Broken Games HDR back at it again with another video. So, Sony has announced that they are laying off 900 PlayStation employees, which is which they state is 8% of their workforce. Listen, y'all got to stop using this percentage to make it seem like these layoffs are less significant than they are. I get it. Technically and numerically, yes, you are right. It is 8%, but I feel like there a lot of these companies just use it to downplay the layoff. 900 is still 900 employees, bro. Just say 900. Don't try to don't try to belittle it. Anyway, uh, so these layoffs are across Insomniac, Naughty Dog, Guerrilla Games, Fire Sprite, and the biggest news was that London Studios, PlayStation London Studios, is being completely shut down, or they plan to, which means it will most likely happen. Um, so I couldn't find an exact figure for the London studio size. Um, what I, the most recent um, figure I found was back in 2022, they were around like 100, uh, their headcount was around 100, which I think they probably grown since then because they were, I think they were hiring for the game that they were, <clears throat> for the game that they were working on, which I'm going to get to. Um, and it, it seems like there were layoffs outside, even outside of these studios, because not everybody who works for PlayStation actually works for a studio. Um, because it seems like they took, we don't have the exact number of who was, how many people were laid off from each studio either. So if you look, they probably took a little, a little bit of each studio, which is Insomniac, Naughty Dog, Gorilla, and Fire Sprite, like I said, and then shut down the complete London studios. But even if you do that math, I'm pretty sure that doesn't equal up to 900. Um, because yeah, the math isn't mathing there. So most likely they took some chunks out of each of those studios and then PlayStation employees who are outside of those studios also got laid off, I think. Um, so let's talk about London Studios, right? So first of all, this, this is on Sony and PlayStation um, because a lot of, a lot of the, the layoffs in the, in the industry does seem to be from poor management, poor planning from executives and, and, and yes, the management team over hiring from COVID. A lot of them are still compensating for, from that. So it's, it's a lot of like bad decisions and inefficiencies that are laying, that are leading to these layoffs. So this is on PlayStation and I'm going to be honest. The last time I bought a London studios game was the getaway. The getaway came out in 2002. So the last time I bought a London game was 22 years ago <laughs> as a log fucking time. So, and th remember they started off with something like getaway and then they transitioned into making like VR games, right? Which in my opinion, this is what I also blame PlayStation for. I doubt it was their decision to head this way. I'm pretty sure they were nudged to go in this direction, right? Because if you look at the list of their games, so they were established in, in 2022 um, and they launched Getaway the same year. And then, you know, they did some iToy stuff uh, the next year and then made the sequel Getaway, the Black Monday, which I played, but I never bought. That's why I said I, that's the last time I bought a game, bought, bought a game from them was 2020, uh, was 2002. I played it, didn't beat it, and I know I didn't buy it. Um, and then they made 20, uh, 2004 Sing Star, and then they made a. They, I think they ported a few games on the PSP, and then uh, 2006 Gangs of London, which I don't even remember that game, and more iPad stuff, and then Wonder Book, and Sing, more Sing Star VR worlds, a whole bunch of irrelevant shit that nobody gives a fuck about. And like I said, I believe PlayStation nudged them and pushed them into. Um, this direction because it was a necessity at the time and some shit that they wanted um, to focus on in their port portfolio. Because I believe if they would have stayed the course and kept on making games like they started out in the beginning, like the getaway, this studio would be, it would be among the pantheon, I believe, of the top PlayStation studios. More rather than an afterthought, because when they're another one of the studios, when people think about PlayStation, nobody thinks about London. Nobody. Um, they were they were on, honestly kind of irrelevant. And that's not downplaying the layoff at all, not downplaying the situation. 
I'm saying that's that's the problem that, that they were like this. They were kind of like in obscurity. And there's they're not the only PlayStation studio that's been in obscurity. Those are the ones that PlayStation seems to be um, laying off. Right. So I blame them for nudging London studios in this direction. I blame them for, you know, scaling up their workforce and increasing their workforce, uh, you know, prematurely. Um, and you know what I'm more mad about than, cause I'm honestly, yes, I, I'm not, I'm on, if I'm being honest, I'm not mad about them being shut, shut down. I'm not happy about it. I would have seen, I would have liked to seen, uh, see what game they were making. And I would have liked, I would have hoped for that game to come out, but am I hurt by it? No, because I haven't, like I said, I haven't bought a game from them in 22 fucking years. Um, I'm more mad about how is Media Molecule still alive? I need answers. I, if y'all know me, yes, I have a hate boner for Media, Media Molecule. I feel like this studio has not done shit to, pro to, to, like, to prove why they should ex still exist in like over a decade. Now, granted, I haven't bought a London studio game in 22 years, at least I can say they've released some shit in past years. Blood and Truth 2019, VR Worlds 2016. Like they have a steady cadence of game releases. Meanwhile, Media Molecule, like they drop some shit every, I don't know, eight years. And when it comes out, it, it's, it's some shit that falls flat. It completely flops and nobody gave a fuck about it. So if you ask me, between the two studios who deserve to be shut down, I'm absolutely going to say Media Molecule because I think there is more of an upside to London Studios and their, and their future than Media Molecule. I believe London, whatever London Studios was working on had more selling power and would probably have more mass appeal than anything Media Molecule is working on. I believe they are the more promising studio heading into the future. So how Media Molecule doesn't get shut down is is just absolutely escaping me they should absolutely be shut down i'm still it i'm still not putting it, it still could happen it's still possible by the way um we kind of knew some of these layoffs were coming from that playstation leak uh you know the the insomniac uh well hack let me call it a hack before people get all butthurt it, it wasn't a leak it was a hack what what whatever um we learned that this was kind of coming. We didn't think it was going to be multiple studios. I think the report said that it was good, just going to be like they were going to choose one studio. Um, but either way, and amongst among all of this, reportedly there are canceled projects, uh, which we already knew about. Factions, of course, that that's can't that's been canceled. Um, the Spider-Man multiplayer game, which was like early in concept, it doesn't seem like they actually started developing it based on that leak. We learned from that from the uh, hack that that was canceled. And that's now official. And now, obviously, since London Studios is shut down, that means that multiplayer was it like a magic hero shooter, if I'm remembering correctly, that they were working on. Th that's now um, that's now canceled. So yeah, it says uh, reportedly since 2002, uh, 2022. It says we were working on an online multiplayer game set in a modern fantasy London. Brand new IP. So that's what they were working on. Most likely, most likely one of the games is a service. So now, that, now that's going to great. Um, I think, once again, PlayStation is liable for this because I think a lot of these PlayStation studios have had a hard, several of them have had a hard time like evolving, staying relevant and progressing with the times. Cuz it's like you have you have the top of the top PlayStation Studios and there's like let's say four up there, three or four at the very top. And you have like th there's there's the top and then there's like the the real low bottom when it comes to PlayStation Studios. It, I got to bring up the list of PlayStation Studios to refresh my mind, but it doesn't it, like the the drop off of like talent level, the, 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 the magnitude and the quality, not the quality of the games, just the, I would say the relevancy of the games, just, just a huge drop off 
and, and like discrepancy and difference between the top studios and the bottom studios where it goes from this this these are the most relevant and important IPs to nobody gives a, an absolute shit about this studio or what they're working on and they need to kind of bring those studios at the bottom at least up to the middle so they can so they can be respectable so people can actually at least appreciate these studios and and their offerings but it's the top it's very few in the middle and a whole bunch of just irrelevant crabs at the bottom that's that's how it is and they got to do a better job at bringing those studios uh up to the to the level of the the other great studios let me see all PlayStation Studios cuz uh, you know I can't remember all of them from the goddamn top of my head. Um So of course, you know, Polyphony that's Grant, you know, Grand Turismo. They're, you know, you people will consider them at the top. Um Gorilla, I would consider them at the top uh, regardless of how you feel about, you know, uh Horizon and stuff like that. Um Bend I would say Bend is like middle bottom tier i wouldn't say they're bottom but they're middle uh blue point they mainly do re remakes but for what they do it's amazing so i'm still i'm putting them in the middle I until you make something original i'm not gonna put you at the top well, you're great at what you do but i'm not gonna put you at the top uh you know haven we don't know what the fuck they're working on uh we haven't really seen it insomniac people will put them at the top naughty dog they're at the top regardless of what people feel about uh their productivity and their cadence of release you can't deny they're a top tier studio when they release a game it is it is amazing and it is going to get all the awards accolades 90s F criticism of how often they release games and and the remasters and stuff like that absolutely valid but that doesn't take away th from them being a top studio san diego they make ba baseball games you know i'll place them in the middle santa monica they're at the top sucker punch i would I would place them right below the the, the top pantheon. We're like, like they're like right below. They they release another top tier game. They're up there with with the best. Um, is that everybody? I don't know. Fuck it. Whatever. Um, the point is, they need to do a better job at getting the the low tier studios to the top, bro. They they got to do a better job at that because it's. And I don't know what to think about some of these new studios. By the way, they are absolutely so they they've shut down um, London, and then then they sh they just recently, right before this, they had shut down that studio. I can't even remember the fuck their name is because I never bought a game from them. Um, Pixel Opus, yeah, Pixel Opus. Uh, they shut down them. Best believe PlayStation is going to try to replace some of these studios with some studios that actually make the money because I think that's ultimately what the issue is here is that aside from the over hiring and scaling up too too fast and unnecessarily this these studios that they shut down weren't making them anything weren't making them any any money they weren't uh you know they 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 weren't moving the needle in any type of capacity and I just felt like yeah and they probably looked at whatever they were working on like yeah we're not impressed this ain't gonna be it Get them the fuck out of here. Um, and yeah, I, I definitely believe we're going to see some replacement. We're going to see some replacement acquisitions. I don't think they're. And that's not me promoting or uh, advocating for consolidation. But, you know, they work with some second parties uh, that they have relationships with that pretty much only make games for them anyway and that's you know that's usually how they how they do some shit so they've shut down two studios i i could almost bet you in the next year they're going to replace both of those studios and it's cold-blooded because essentially what you're doing is shutting down a studio to replace them with another one that you think is better and is going to make you more money but that's how shit goes that's that's how it, that's how it works it's it's Jim Ryan, that man cold blooded because it is it is very much what have you done for me lately and how much money have you made for me lately? I think that's the clear evaluation of how they've been shutting down and making these decisions. I think that's pretty fucking clear.
Um, which, once again, you created that situation because you most likely nudged La uh, London to go in this direction of VR games, which is niche, which they're not going to make any money regardless of how great the games is. You didn't put them in the position. You, you put them in, in this little back alley to make games that the masses won't play, the niche of the niche. And I like VR games. Everybody knows that. Um, I like PSVR too. But I don't think, I've said this, I don't think any of these PlayStation Studios should be dedicated to working on VR because you're on one platform, which yes, PlayStation is one of the biggest platforms, but still on one platform. And then you're secluded to a platform within that platform, which is VR. Um, and their, their new multiplayer game that they're working on wasn't going to be a VR game. But once again, you put them in that situation to now feel like you need to shut them down. So that's all on PlayStation. That's definitely all on PlayStation and Sony. Should have never sent them down that avenue and never sent them down that route. That route. You doomed them. You doomed them back de decades, decades ago. You doomed them to this point. So, um, yeah. Um, hey, man. What, what, what is it again? Thoughts and prayers and all that, and all that good shit? Hey, uh... I'm sure there's some people out there that that are gonna say they're they're gonna have such a hard time functioning because of layoffs. They're not gonna be able to eat. They're not gonna be able to sleep. Oh, there's so much pain, so hard, so much hardship. Oh my God, how do we function? Um, listen, I've said it before. I talked about it in the in the last uh, what is it? Micro in the Microsoft layoffs. I said it then. Listen, if you have a good, um, if it, Depending on where you live, of course, it makes it a little bit more difficult. But de but if you have a good resume, you'll find something. You'll be okay. You'll get a good severance package. I imagine PlayStation severance package is great, just like Microsoft severance package is great. And you'll find another job. Your resume will speak for itself. Most of these people will be fine. Um, they ain't going to end up on the street. Said the same thing about the Microsoft layoff. None of these people going to end up on the street. Uh, they'll, they'll be fine. Um. Yeah, I think that's all I got to say about it. I'm I'm really perturbed that Media Molecule is still fucking open. I I am I am highly upset, bro. I don't care, and I don't care what none of you artsy fartsy motherfuckers want to say. Oh, the Media Molecule makes beautiful and artistic. Nobody cares. Nobody wants them. Nobody gives a fuck about me, these these game dreams and that tearaway bullshit and. Come on, man. Little Big Planet was a decade ago. And, and, or, well, technically, that last one wasn't even made by them. And nobody gave a fuck about that. Nobody cares. They haven't made nothing relevant, nothing of consequences. We don't care. Listen, I'm okay if they shut down Media Molecule, too. I kind of want them to. I'm going to be honest with you. You shut down London Studios, bro. Shut down Media Molecule. Let me see. Let me take a look to see if there's anybody else I think should be shut down, if I'm being honest. Uh, let me see. Uh, that well, they just opened that mobile studio. I wouldn't be surprised if that mobile studio gets shut down before they even release a game. Honestly, wouldn't be shocked. Uh, let's see. No, they're not gonna shut them down. Um, um, let's see. No, no, no. Yeah, there's not really any anybody else to to shut down. There's like some other support studios. Um, yeah. I think if it did happen, it, it might be like one, one of these mobile studios that they bought. I don't know how that shit's going to pan out. Um, maybe you might see some lay. I think they had some X dev layoffs already or layoffs from these support studios. That could happen. Yeah. Let me know what y'all think, man. Hit the like button. Hit the notification bell. Uh, or, you know, B Bungie. I forgot about Bungie because they're technically not under the PlayStation umbrella. Depending on how that final shape shit go. Bungie could be next or they could do something drastic with Bungie um, or one of these PlayStation studios that they just acquired that we do still don't know shit about like Haven, not putting it past them either. Let me know what y'all think. Hit the like button, hit the notification bell, follow me on Twitter, all that good shit. Let me know what y'all think about these layoffs. I'm out of here. Peace.